guys, this is Miss Leslie from the Paul Sawyer Public Library. Thanks so much for joining me today for the tween virtual no sew holiday t-shirt tote bag workshop. Hopefully you have registered and picked up your kit for your tween program today. And in your kit, you will find a crisp, clean, brand new t-shirt, which we're gonna transform momentarily. You will find some embellishments like some gems and some buttons, some different things. And there are some Christmassy ones in there because we are doing a holiday tote bag. But you do not have to do a holiday one. If you want to transform it into another type of tote bag, a spring tote bag, if you want to customize it for somebody you're going to give it to and you don't want to use red or green or holiday embellishments, if you have other things, you are more than welcome to use that. If you have pom-poms or other embellishments at home, feel free to do that. There is no right or wrong way to do this, and this is your tote bag. Also in your kit, you've got some fabric markers. So if you want to write a holiday message on there, if you, like I said, if you want to customize it to a particular person, if you're going to give this as a gift, or even if you're going to keep it for yourself. So those are all the things you will find in your kit. Now, a couple of things you'll need from home. You'll need a good pair of scissors to cut your tote bag or to cut the t-shirt to form it into the tote bag for the handles and the bottom part. And then also some glue. Now you can use craft glue and this will take a little bit longer because you'll want it to sit out overnight and dry. And that is completely fine if you have craft glue or a hot glue gun. Now if you are using a hot glue gun, just make sure you do it under adult supervision. And a hot glue gun is obviously going to transform your tote bag a little faster because the glue hardens a little faster. But there is no, no uh, right or wrong way to do it if you have hot glue or if you have regular craft glue. Don't worry about it whatsoever. So if you'll get your scissors and your glue, we'll be good to go. Now, let me give you an idea of what your tote bag will look like. It's still going to look like a t-shirt somewhat because it is a t-shirt. But it's going to have the shape of a tote bag because we're gonna cut off the bottom and make it a little fringy at the bottom and then tie up that fringe to form the bottom of the tote bag. So when you put goodies in there, it'll hold them. And we're also going to create the handles. So this is just a little something that I put together. Now, obviously, if you didn't wanna use the white shirt that I put in your bag, if you have some old shirts at home that you no longer wear or have outgrown or don't like anymore, you can always take one of those shirts one of those clean shirts and transform it into a tote bag. Obviously, you need to check with your parent or guardian first before you do that because they might not want you to cut up a t-shirt, but check with them first. If you have a red or a green t-shirt, you can even holiday it up even more. It is completely up to you. I'm just going to show you the basic tools of how to transform your tote bag. But this is my tote bag. So see, I've got a Christmas tree on there. You can see how I fringed it at the bottom to tie it up. And then the sleeves are being used as the handles. And then if you look, that is the inside of your tote bag. So of, this is what an idea of what my tote bag looks like. But you can transform yours into any way you want, whether you're giving it as a gift or keeping it for yourself. So let's get started on transforming our t-shirt. So this, let me move those gems out of the way is a t-shirt that I had at home. Very similar to the t-shirt you got in your kit. This one is a little bit thicker because I forgot my t-shirt at the library, but this one will do just fine. This is an old one that's clean, but I don't wear anymore. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to cut the sleeves to make our handles. And this is actually pretty easy. The toughest part will be getting those scissors, depending on what kind of scissors you have through the fabric. But what you can do is you can just follow the seam of the sleeve because there's a seam right there between the regular part of the shirt and the sleeve. So if you follow that seam, you'll be good to go. So that's the first thing I am going to do. I'm gonna lay it out kind of flat on my table so I can get it all, all flat. And then I'm just gonna follow the seam and I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna follow the seam as best I can. And you know, there's no, there's no perfect way to do it. If it's a little fringy, that just gives it a little bit more character. So don't worry about it, it's no big deal. Let me get this cut up and then I will show you what it looks like. It is so hard to believe that the holidays are here. But this t-shirt tote bag makes a good gift if for somebody that you are not quite sure what to get, but they always kind of like your crafting projects. This is a great crafting project to do for somebody like that. 
Or if you have a small little gift and you're like, I need a gift bag, this would make the perfect gift bag for your small little gift. So I followed the seam and there I have cut one of my sleeves. So as you can see, now I have a big hole in there. So that is the first handle right there. And once I get the other side cut, you'll see a little bit more. So now I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna make sure to flatten it out as best I can and then I'm gonna follow that seam. That's the good thing about these sleeves and the sleeves on your shirt is there is a seam there. So if you just follow that seam, you're pretty good. Like I said, the hardest part is just cutting the fabric with your scissors. The seam is no problem, but the fabric cutting, depending on the scissors that you have at home can be difficult. All right, so now I officially have a sleeveless t-shirt and that is what we want. So those are going to be our handles. So you're probably thinking this looks nothing like a tote bag. Just wait. Now I'm gonna move my sleeves out of the way and we'll throw those down here. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna cut away my neck because that is gonna form my handles. So I'm gonna do a little cutting and I'm gonna show you how I did it in just a second because I gotta lay this flat. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it flat. And if you look on your t-shirt, you will see that there's a well-defined neck up there. So what you're gonna do to make your handles is you're gonna get as close to that neck where it's stitched and you're gonna cut straight down just enough so you can have a pretty good deep enough tote bag, but not too far down where you don't have enough room for your embellishments. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a minute. So what I'm gonna do, I've got one side cut. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna get a little bit to the side of where that neck is stitched and I'm gonna cut down and make the other one. And you're gonna kind of scoop neck it. So you're gonna kind of make a circle. After you cut straight down, you're gonna kind of come across in a circle pattern. So this is what I've cut out of the top. So I have officially cut the neck out of my t-shirt. So it kind of looks like a bib. So I'm gonna throw that away or throw that down there. And this is what it'll look like when it's finished. So basically I've made a scoop neck top, but I've left enough on either side so I have good handles. Cause you don't wanna cut through because then you won't have good handles to hold it by. So that is the first part. So we have now done the top of our tote bag. We've got two handles and we've got the inside of the tote bag. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to take our tote bag and we are gonna fringe the bottom. So, I'm gonna lay this out flat, just like I did again. Make sure I've got everything smooth, because that'll make it easier for me to cut. Now, down the sides here is another seam. You can probably see it on my t-shirt here. There's another seam there. And at the very bottom, there's a little bit of a heavier seam. And that's where you're gonna start your cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut through that heavy seam just enough so I have a little bit of a tail. And I'll show you what I mean in just a sec. So I've got that side cut. Now I'm gonna come over on the other side and I'm gonna cut that seam. And you know, with that, you just wanna make sure you don't cut too far up where you've impeded the middle of your tote bag because that's where you're gonna do your design. But you wanna cut far enough up when you're fringing it that you can tie off the bottom. So after I've cut both sides of the seam, now I'm gonna come along and I'm gonna cut pieces to fringe. And I'm gonna start cutting one side and then I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And then I'll cut the other side. It's pretty simple. It's just little narrow strips down at the bottom to give you some fringe. We'll cut this. And it seems really weird to be cutting up a t-shirt because you feel like you're ruining the t-shirt, but it is for a good cause. It will be a wonderful creation that you can share with your friends and family year after year. And like I said, if you wanted it to use as a gift bag, that would make the perfect gift bag for something light and you can tell the person that you created that gift bag just for them. And with your fabric markers, you can write Merry Christmas, you can write Happy Holidays, you can write Season's Greetings, whatever you want on the bottom or on the top of that bag. 
All right, I'm about a little over halfway through with my cutting, and then I'm gonna show you what I did because it's hard to see what I'm doing right now. But basically, I'm just making little slits on the bottom of my t-shirt, just far enough up so when I cut the other side that I have something to tie them off on. All right, so this is the bottom of my t-shirt. You can see how I have fringed the bottom and gone just far enough up that I have enough to tie off. So now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do the back side to match the front because I've gotta have something to tie those off on. And you don't have to be exact, an exact match, just as long as you have enough to tie up. There's not, <clears throat> if you do, if it's a little, one's a little higher than the other or a little shorter than the other, that is okay. It is not the end of the world. Just as long as you have something to tie up. And that takes, this cutting, this cutting part and the tying part is probably the longest of the process. Because like I said, it, it seems like you're tearing up a t-shirt, but in all honesty, you are creating something really cool. And you could do it with any t old t-shirt you have that you don't wear anymore. Once you check with your parent or guardian first. And you can make really cool spring tote bags, really cool summer tote bags, a fall tote bag, a back to school tote bag, any kind of tote bag you want. And you can do a uh, different color. You don't have to do white. You can tie dye it if you want to. If you've got some tie dye materials at home. If you've got some iron on transfers or something that you, an image you want to put on there. If you are really good at drawing and you want to draw something with your fabric markers, go ahead and do that. Whatever you want to do. So this is the next part. So there is the back of your tote bag. So it looks identical to the front. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna lay it out flat again, turn it back over to the front, and we are gonna tie off those pieces at the bottom. Tie off one front one to one back one. And just tie them. If you can tie them in a knot, that works even better. If not, once they all get tied together, it really doesn't matter. It is completely up to you. And I'm just tying these off at the bottom. And once I get them all done, I will show you. And I find sometimes that the best way to do it is to tie off either end first and then work your way through to the middle and finish off. That's the thing that I do. But it's really up to you. There's no right or wrong way to tie it off. And like I said, if you have a little extra on there and you can tie it in a knot, tie it in a knot. But no worries. I think a tie-dye t-shirt tote bag would be really cool. Maybe that's something we'll do next time. You never know. And hopefully you will enjoy this as much as I did. I thought it was a really cool project. And something unique to give as a gift. Because it's always hard to find a gift. Especially if you don't know somebody really well. Or, you know, they're not big on candy or perfume or things like that this makes a really cool thing that you've crafted yourself especially for them and I know growing up my mom always liked the things that I made for her so I try to do little things like that every now and again and I always enjoyed the little crafts that my nieces made for me too I have them all around my house and in my scrapbooks for the little things so I am just tying off the bottom of this and it takes a little bit of time and you think I'm never going to get done tying this off. But then you do. And then you're like, oh, this makes sense. Now I get it. Because when you see the fringe at the bottom, you're like, how is this going to work? But then you're like, I got it now. All right. So, let me show you what I've got so far. So, so far, that is what I've got tied off. So you can see the ends and you can see I've still got the middle to tie off. But that's all you're gonna do is tie one piece of fabric to the piece from the front to the piece of fabric to the back. That's why you have to do both sides because that's gonna form your bottom. So when you put something in the bag, it won't fall clean through the t-shirt. And like I said, this is not a tote bag to put like really heavy books in or anything like that. This is maybe just something decorative that you have around the house if you're gonna keep for yourself, 
or if you want to use it as a gift bag for something small and lightweight. That is completely up to you. But the great thing about this craft video is you don't have to watch it at 4.30 when it, is, when it airs on our Facebook page or when it posts on our Facebook page on Wednesday at 4.30. You can craft anytime you want. You can go back and look at it at another time if the 4.30 time doesn't suit for you. And you can go back and look at it again and again if you want to craft something different. It is completely up to you. All right, I think I got them all tied off. Oh, I got one more. Sometimes when you get going tying, it is hard to see it all. All right, so once it's all complete, that's what it looks like on the bottom. So all that fringe is tied, and now I can stick my hand inside my tote bag and you can't see through the bottom. So my hand's in there now. So that is the innards of my tote bag, so to speak. So now you can craft. And like I said, you can use hot glue, obviously with adult supervision, or you can use craft glue. Craft glue is obviously going to take a little bit longer to dry, but that is okay. If you have your fabric markers, which you should have gotten some in your kit, you can write a message on there. If you're giving it as a birthday gift, you can write happy birthday on there. You don't have to write anything. You can draw something on there, whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things, and then you can craft anytime you want and design it any way you want. And when you're finished with your tote bags, send us, put it, post it on Facebook, or send uh, a picture to me directly, which you guys have my email. Send it to me directly, and we would love to share all your tote bag creations. So I'll get a couple started, and then you'll see what I've done. So I'm just taking a few embellishments, and like I said, it doesn't have to be holiday. It can be whatever you want. It's your tote bag. Just remember to send us those pictures once you've completed, because that's what I love. I love seeing your creative juice, juices or genes flowing. That's the best part for me. And designing this tote bag, there's really no right or wrong way to do it. I'm just kind of throwing some things on there just so you can see how it sticks. And if you are doing one that's strictly holiday, you can write a holiday message on there. You can put a Christmas tree on there. You can put a reindeer. You know, whatever you want. You can even do snowflakes if you want to. If you're really creative and you can draw snowflakes or take those gems and create a snowflake, there's even some butterflies in there. And butterflies really don't have anything to do with the holidays. But... I wanted you to have the opportunity to either create a holiday one or one just to have some fun with. And like I said, the thing about using hot glue is it's gonna come together faster. But if you just have regular craft glue, that is okay. But hot glue, as you can see, is also a little stringy. So I'm gonna get those strings off there. So I just did some randomness on my tote bag just to kind of show you how good it sticks right off the bat with hot glue. So I just did some random gems that I had here. But really, you can do it any way you want. This is the one that I showed you guys earlier. That was definitely very holiday. If I can get it going here. I've got my Christmas tree and some other holiday embellishments. But if you draw really well or you have an iron-on transfer, whatever you want, you can create your own no-sew t-shirt tote bag. So I hope you guys have enjoyed our craft video today. And I hope you share your pictures of your no sew t-shirt tote bags, whether it's a holiday design or an everyday design, I would love to see them. So thanks so much for joining me today for our tween virtual no sew holiday t-shirt tote bag workshop. Thanks so much for joining me guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.